Hey guys, I'm in Tampa, Florida here at the Saddlebrook Tennis Facility doing some training with some of my students and I thought I'd make some YouTube videos while I'm here. Uh, one of them is talking about patterns and I think that one thing we need to think about is that tennis has some predictability to it. Now there are times when players hit some amazing shots out of nowhere, but most of the time players have patterns. Now I'm talking about general patterns that all players exhibit, okay? So for example, when you hit a ball really, really hard, okay? And most players are going to hit that ball hard back to, or not, maybe hard, maybe soft, whatever, but they're gonna hit it back in the same position it came from, or even more predictably, cross court. So if I hit a ball really hard, my, I'm a righty, so if I'm gonna hit a forehand to the backhand side, we'll pretend the other player is a righty as well. What I notice is players just stand. Now, you, you might hear, oh, move up, move up when you are hitting a really good ball or expecting the short ball. Okay, it depends on the level of the player, but I, I would like to see more of um, hitting more of your strength. And the strength is, forehands, right? So what I like to do is I like to hit more forehands. So if I'm hitting a ball to the backhand side of my opponent, I'm going to probably expect, especially if I hit a good ball, is the ball is going to come back cross court. If you've ever been in trouble on the backhand, it's very hard to hit a backhand down the line unless you're in good position, the ball's waist high. So if the ball's not like that, you're going to hit it cross court. So one thing you want to think about is when you hit a really good ball to the forehand or the backhand side, you should think about moving over a little bit here so that I have more time and uh, or a lot more space to be able to hit another forehand, okay? So I've done this drill, these types of drills with players all the time where they'll hit an inside out forehand and then when they do that, inside out means my forehand to their backhand and over in this position, right? And instead of recovering to the middle, they're gonna recover over here a little bit, right? And then they hit another one, right? So the idea is they're, they're just generating that, that, that control of the point where I'm hitting my forehand to the player's back end. The player can't do anything but hit a cross court, right? Then you work on opening up the court. So on the last ball, I'm gonna be able to hit the ball down the line to open up the court. The player is predicting a backhand. So now they're on the run on the forehand and now I'm hoping to generate a short ball they might be hitting a cross court, so I do have to recover to this side, right? But then I'm in control. The point is the main idea. I'm hitting all four hands, right? So I think a lot of players kind of, they don't really think that way. They hit a ball and they go, well, whatever's coming back is coming back. Instead of going, where do I think this next shot's going to be, right? So hitting, um, Roger Federer does this really well with slicing. He'll hit a really good slice to the player's backhand side. And when he does that, he immediately moves over here because he knows the player is not going to hit that ball down the line. It's super low. So a low ball over the high part of the net is not easy to do. And it, players don't really do that when the ball's hit hard. So they're gonna hit it back to the spot. Federer has his forehand now and he's able to um, get into an offensive position. So I guess the idea of the video here is to have you think about how to hit more of your strength. And we're talking about forehand specifically. So another example of this would be, how would I hit more forehands when I'm um, serving? So if I serve on the deuce side uh, and I serve out wide, the player's probably gonna be hitting it cross court to my forehand and allows me to open up the court. Now on the ad side, if I do out wide, it's probably gonna go to my backhand. So I'm gonna have to move over and cover that backhand side by moving over to hit that forehand, right? So, but if you wanna hit more forehands, you'll probably wanna hit it in, on the ad side more down the tee because that ball's coming more in the middle and now you have your forehand, right? So th those are examples for serving, right? Another example is on the return. So some of the um, really good returners on the, on the deuce side are gonna run around their backhand more than on the ad side. So, so think about it, if I'm on the ad side, on this side, and the ball's hit to my backhand and I run around it, I'm in the doubles alley to hit the return. And that gets me really in poor position. I have to hit a really good ball. Now some players will do that, but they know they gotta hit a really, really good ball. Now on the deuce side, I'm moving over to the middle of the court when I run around my backhand to hit a forehand, right? So that allows me to be in, the, in a great position and to hit my strength. 
So running around your backhand on the deuce side, second serve return is a much easier and better weapon and better positioning strategy than hit doing on the ad side. So anyways, all these are examples of trying to dictate points with your strength, okay? The last thing I would mention is if players are really hammering your backhand, one thing you might wanna consider is hitting it down the line. I had a couple players that had this problem at the one and two single spot. So good players, they, they know the other players picking on their backhand. So I just said, well, if you hit it down the line, you're going to get a lot more balls hit cross court because that player is naturally going to hit the ball cross court to your forehand. So if I'm getting pummeled on my backhand, I'm hitting cross court, cross court. If you hit it down the line, you're going to have a great opportunity to have the player hit back to your forehand and start the point with your forehand again. And you can dictate the point again. So this is just to open up your eyes and think about these different strategies where you're able to hit more forehands. So I hope that helped you and you can um, dictate more points. So good luck.